All right, 2x is less than or equal to y. That's a, we don't usually look at equations like that. So some of you may be preferring to switch that so that y is greater than or equal to 2x. And if it does help you, you can put that plus 0 right there. Since that is in slope-intercept form, we see that the slope is 2, or 2 over 1, with the y-intercept of 0, 0. Now, since this one is, this has a point at 0, 0, we can't use that for a test point, by the way. So, putting these other points on the line, and then now the line, this is going to be a solid line. So since this line goes through the origin, we can't use that as a test point. So what point do you guys want to use? 2, 2. 2, 2. All right, so 2, 2 is right here. This is our test point. Uh, yeah, yeah. I'm going to use the original, though, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, So yeah. I, I'm going to replace x with 2 and y at 2. So I have 4 is less than or equal to 2. That's false. So our test point came up okay. false, which means we need to shade the other side of that line. All right, this other equation right here. Let's go ahead and give ourselves some space. Yeah, we'll need to subtract x from both sides. So 4y, again, we can treat this as equals because we're just looking for the line here. So I'll divide everywhere by 4 now. And we get y equals negative 1 fourth x plus 1. So our slope is negative 1 over positive 4. And a y-intercept at 0, 1. So we got our point at zero one. There we go. And down four to the down Wait, one to the right four. Is that zero negative one? Yes, thank you. Zero one is right here. Thank you. Down one to the right four will give us this point and this one. Continuing the pattern to the left. I think I got those right. Now let's draw this line, which will be solid. You can use zero zero for this one as a test point. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and let's do that. Let's test zero. Zero is our test point for the purple line. And use the original as well? Yes. So yeah, I'm going to go back to the original equation. So there's our equation, replacing the x and the y with zero. It tells us that zero is greater than or equal to four. False. At the top. So yeah, we'll have to shade above that line. Uh I don't know, that's fine. And we can see that the two are shaded in this region right here. So the green is where we would want to show that it's shaded on the test.